Welcome back guys to a new review of the latest PvP blog. Well last year a number of changes were made to the duel arena in an effort to reduce the amount of real world trading and scamming. These were short term measures to deliver a full replacement. In this video we are going to talk about the PvP arena update and the new rewards. For those people who don't have time to read the full blog but are interested in the coming update and the new items it brings with it, this might be a relaxing alternative. So in this week we received a huge blog about the upcoming PvP arena which hopefully is going to replace the current duel arena and bring some new variety to the PvP community. The PvP arena gives players an opportunity to fight each other in a controlled environment where matches take place on an alternative safe game. You will be able to register in finding a fight and then do whatever you want in the main game till the match has been prepared. The grouping chat channel will have an extra PvP arena button which opens a new side panel for the PvP arena. Clicking the PvP arena button will open the PvP arena side panel replacing the grouping side panel. The find button invites the player to look for a PvP arena group. The fights take place on an alternative safe game world so you will be prompted to swap to the alternative safe game world giving you enough time to get a safe place to hop worlds. Your standard game profile is left behind and instead you will be given the following stats. You can then specialize into a primary combat style of your choice. Once you've picked a primary combat style you will need to select a secondary style which can't be the same as your primary style. When a fight is complete you will be able to return to the main game and if you were successful in defeating your opponent you will be rewarded rank points and reward points. Rank points are kind of an elo system which we know from other games, the PvP arena will try to match you with another player with a similar rank. Reward points are used to purchase unique items from the PvP arena. There will be 1v1 tournaments like in the Deadman finals until only the final two winners are left to fight each other. If you are not interested in committing to a full tournament, you can also do ranked 1v1 duels where the game will pit you against an opponent of similar rank. Just like tournaments, the winner of a 1v1 battle will receive rank and reward points. And if you want to practice, you can also choose to do unranked 1v1 duels to maybe fight a friend or to try out some new combat styles. The arena offers some new interesting rewards which will change the PvP community completely. With the reward points you can buy yourself some imbue scrolls which will lead to an alternative for the nightmare zone or soul wars. There will also be some ornament kits for the dragon claws, bandos armor and the heavy ballista. All the rewards from this point of the video are only pvp related and cannot be used outside pvp areas. You also have to know that these items are untradeable and only obtainable through the pvp arena. So the first interesting item on this list is an alternative to the barrows gloves. The wristbands of the arena have similar stats but slightly higher accuracy and only require 30 defense to wear which should bring more variety to the PvP scene or maybe even new account builds. Oh boy, I do not want to pronounce this item. This new plate body is an alternative to the fighter torso with slightly higher defense stats so the player base which only participates in PvP activities can skip the barbarian assault minigame completely. It offers 4 strength bonus but still requires 40 defense to equip. For me personally this is the most interesting part, JX is planning to release an armor set with 3 tiers which are quite similar to the void set but do not forget these items are only usable in PvP areas. This opens up more variety to the PvP community and once again maybe even new account builds. This new set is the Calamity armor set, like Void you will need the full set to pair with 3 interchangeable helmets that are required to activate the full set effects. The armor has low defense which requires the wearer to predict the opponent's next move. The first tier have no requirements and offer some low damage and accuracy boosts so even one defense account can use this armor. The second tier is the Superior Calamity set which requires 55 defense to equip, it offers some higher defensive and offensive stats than the set before and also comes with its own helmets. I wonder how this gear compares to voids in its slightly higher requirements but also a passive defensive effect. We will see in the future. 
The third tier requires 78 defense and offers the highest defensive stats and also a passive offensive effect similar to Elite Void. Additional, all three tiers also have a damage reduction effect which depends on the helmets you are wearing. If you compare this set with the Void set, you also have to consider that the Mage set also has a damage boost and a damage reduction boost since Void only offers an accuracy boost. So on the first view, this set might look pretty weak since it requires 78 defense to equip. But that's not the case. And if these proposed armor aren't enough for you guys, the Amulet of Souls is a new item created by combining an Amulet of Fury, an Onyx and an Amulet of Souls scroll, which holds 10 charges in total. While wearing the charged Amulet of Souls, you will recover from lethal damage with 5 HP, curing any poison or venom in the process. This effect has a 15 minutes cooldown. I'm not really sure if this is a good idea and if this amulet actually gets released, since it sounds quite OP, to be honest. There will also be a Thar potion, which requires combining a flame rose, which will be obtainable from the PvP arena, a dwarf weed, a white lily and a vial of water. These potions can be consumed to grant immunity from binding spells for 10 seconds. They provide no benefit though if you are currently bound and can only be used every 2 minutes. So you have to predict the next binding spell and use them smartly. For a small number of reward points you will be able to purchase 2 new blighted sacks that can be used within the wilderness. A blighted wave sack that supplies the runes required for any wave spell and a blighted surge sack that supplies the runes required for any surge spell. And the last reward in this block is a new left click teleport since some account builds aren't able to do monkey bandness to you as completion of the quest grants defense experience. This item will be an alternative to the royal seed pot. Well that's all for now, what do you guys think about these items? Is this update healthy for the game and will it create an even bigger bridge between the regular and the pvp community? Maybe the PvP community is happy now and they will let me keep my spade. Drop a like and comment down below and I see you in the next video.